and save percentage, averaging just one goals against per game in his 10 games. We are underway as the puck immediately go that the West has faced at this showcase. New Ulm unable to get the victory yesterday over the junior hat tricks. Granite City dumps this one in. Here's Massett trying to go to the near side with a backhand. No luck. Fed across. Down below the goal line is Reed. Reed tries centering through. No luck there. Puck is carom through the neutral zone. Reitman has Thingvold to his left. His near side circle. Faceoff is controlled for a moment there by Rochester and is dumped back in by Laughlin. He'll feed as Halliday is the first one there for Granite City. Through center, not going to be enough on it. Reed can't corral it as it hovers over Masseth on the far side. Four minutes in, no scoring here between Granite City and Rochester as these rivals meet up here in the showcase. Final day of the showcase. Only one more game left to start as the Loons in the West will take. Yesterday, they have been perfect so far on the PK this week. They will be tested here. Puck down below the goal line. Davidson feeds this one almost out. It's hovering on the blue line far side. Caroms all the way around. Setting this offense up now will be the Rochester Grizzlies. Down below the near side corner. Caroming this one out. Trying to feed back up top to Larilla. He feeds it now far side. Walking in front. Good opportunity for Granite City. Better stick handling there by Rochester. Shaw keeps that one alive. Chance in front. Good stop there by Smith. Davidson can't clear. Larilla holds the blue line again. He feeds near side to right. Right goes down low. Has an opportunity to come back to right. They just go back and forth. Down below the near side. 45 seconds gone on this power play. Larilla now gently feeds back to right. Right will go right back down low to his captain. Back up top, near side circle. Trying to find some sort of comfort in the front. Chance taken, puck is loose, kick save, second try. Stop by... 8.55 left here in this first period. Tal Halliday playing in his final showcase. Puts it on the tape. Up ice again. Fed into Blake now. Blake, first one there. He'll feed below the near circle. Up to Cody Diaz. Diaz struggled with the puck there. Couldn't get it out. Good turnover. Good chance for Gibson, but Gibson could not bring that puck any closer. Fed up with the backhand. Far side. Here comes Massith. Massith, he's got Reed with him. Nice drag from Reed. Keeps his play alive. Can he center it? Nobody's home. This one will be shoveled all the way down. Not enough for icing. So Mortensen will be the first one there. Rochester needed a change. Diaz shovels this one with the backhand, not far enough. It'll just be turned right back over into Reed's hands as Reed shovels this in with a back. One goal affair. Four minutes left here in the period. 1-0 Granite City. Mortensen walks around one body. High circle, goes far side, looking for Diaz well wide. As this puck will trickle down low, Mortensen will take a change. Below the goal line, up ice Bauer. He'll touch on the right side of the red, dumps this one in clean. Back out to Massith for Granite City. He goes around one body, has the puck. He'll come up high slot, but it's pocketed by Johnson. Puck is taken away by Folden. Folden misses everybody, and it comes all the way down. For an Mortensen and Shea will battle the blue line. Turnover chance here. Here's Thingvold. Thingvold comes in, shoots it up and over the glove side of Smith. A turnover there, almost costly for Granite City. Thingvold, very talented. Would love that chance again. Less than a minute to go. 46 seconds left here in the period. Back through center, near side. Shaw with control. He'll take this one behind Weiss. Has Diaz trailing on him. Reed as well. Back out through center. Massith. He'll skate around a circle. Has it near side. Granite City's taking a change. Massith fires one. A well up and out of here. As we'll skate five aside to start. Couple penalties in that first period, no goals. Then with the talent that is here this week, Rochester looking to end that. A very good chance that this will be a very tight game from the start to the finish, and it has been as advertised after the first 20 minutes. Back out through center. Head coach Chris Ratzloff and his Grizzlies. 
24, 2-2 two two on the season. 1-1 one one here at the showcase so far. Looking to come out ahead and end the hottest team in hockey right now. There is nobody who has won more straight than Granite City after the Gens lost yesterday to Mason City. McLaughlin down low. High side to Liffrig. Liffrig, nice clean pass. Far side, dumping into the zone. Blake will have to play out in front. That one goes through the crease. Nobody was home. McLaughlin feeds again. It'll be a foot race for Reed. Reed's got Diaz with him. He's got a body on him. Goes backhand up to the forehand and over the crossbar. Great scoring chance there for Reed. To no avail as this one is tipped up and out of play. Or big face off here. Trying to control this one. Quickly shot. That one hits the outside edge of the far post. You can hear the clank from here. Kept in though on the blue line. Shovel down low. Reed first one there for Granite City. Tries feeding the puck back down low to Massett. Diaz, he'll chase after it. Myers will get there first for the Grizzlies. He'll gently shove this one down. Not enough for icing. Good heads up play there. That'll give his team a chance to get the puck in their offensive zone. Myers again, excuse me, Mears again gets bodied up near side. Good clean hit down below as Blake falls to the ice. Near side, cycling this puck back out in front, trying to get around to find Mears. Quickly shot taken, rebound in front, cleared out by Reed. Rochester, this is a completely different team here this next 20 minutes. They're buzzing around the front of the net. Passes have been crisper. Granite City has kind of been caught off guard. Smith to Davidson, high off the glass. To Diaz with a backhand, back to Davidson. Davidson up to Reed. Reed has Masseth near side. He rides the top of a stick. That one's quickly taken away. Reed shoves off Shea. Reutman will be the first into the corner. Waji to Thingvold. Thingvold, top of the circle. Back up through center, trying to clear it out. No luck. Kept in by Mears. Mears, bottom of the circle. Walks one in, deflected off a body of Masseth before it got to the net. Thingvold again. Trying to get control of the puck here are either team as it hovers on the blue line. It comes out. Massive. He's got wheels with him. He feeds far side chance in front. Diaz drive. What a save. Quickly. 11.53. Down below the goal line. Massive again. Trying to feed to the front of the net. Back out through center. Far side corner. Took some heavy shots yesterday. High off the glass again. Thingvold to the front of the net. Chance take it. Oh, he rattles it off the crossbar as it kissed itself all the way across as the puck eventually. Chance again down below the goal line. Jacks look to clear this one out. Just getting the handle on a stick there as the Jacks can come through center with it. It's Reed. Two shorthanded goals scored yesterday. Be quite tough to get that feat here today with this defensive core and this power play grouping. For Rochester. Here's Mortensen. Mortensen near side. He'll feed this one the full sheet. In fact, it'll go right on net. Reese will make this. Weiss, excuse me, will make the stop. One minute gone on the power play. The second chance of the day here for Rochester. Butler comes in, leaves this one back for Kennett. Kennett below the far circle. Centering pass out in front. That one gets stuck behind the net. As eventually he's tripped up. Net comes loose. And then they score just a couple seconds after getting back on the ice. Anderson straight from the box, scored. Here's Reutman, very, very talented. He's got control of the puck. He's got Reed in his vision. Lift rig right there, back to Reutman. Reutman down low. Reutman will recollect. He's got Lift rig to his left. He feeds. Lift rig walks this one in. Bouncing puck, that one goes wide. Delaney on top of this. Reutman, he'll collect on the blue line again. Reed right there in his face, far side. Diaz skates over. Back to Reutman. Reutman down low. One-timer. That one's up and over the glove. Kept in play. Mears down below the goal line. Leaves this one back. It'll go all the way back around to Reutman. Reutman, who hovers on the near side blue, shoves this one down low. Looking for a lane. Delaney in front. Feeds all the way across. Cycles back up top. Reutman. Reutman one-timer near side. Deflected off of Delaney. Mears feeds it back. Approaching one minute gone on this power play. Good shift so far here for Rochester. Two nice clean shots. Near side looking for a third. Liffrig down low. He's got control of the puck. Goes back to the forehand. Feeds down below the line. Diaz, can he get there to clear? 
Yes, he can. Granite City will change. Got to get back into the play. Here's a big chance. Ooh. And he'll go off for a change with 42 seconds left in the period. Reed below the goal line. Gets bodied up. Almost a rare mistake there. Chance out in front. Second try. Mies. Weiss pushes it out of the way. Boy, he has stood on his head here today when he needs to to keep this game as close as it's been. Both these goaltenders having themselves a great tournament. Here's Diaz. Diaz shovels one high off the boards. It goes near side with just 20 seconds left. Diaz again. He pinches down low near corner. Reed, he's right there, chipped up into the air. Diaz battling for it less than 10. This one will come with the first puck dropped. Here we go. Granite City in red. Rochester in white. It has been a battle of goaltending as expected. As Zach Weiss has looked fantastic for the Grizzlies. Matt Smith has been just lights out for months here for Granite City. This one's chipped out. Granite City had a streak of nine straight periods without a goal over 180 minutes. It was 181 minutes and 34 seconds that they did not allow a goal. Rochester made sure that Cole Gibson, the captain, made sure that his team would not be a part of that historic number here at the showcase. Here's Van Zylen. Van Zylen cycles this one down below the near sideline. It's giving up a big turnover that leads to a goal here and Liffrig takes a shot up top. They don't call that one. They'll skate through. So back to an even score. Schemnauer, near side. In the anxiety, another stick up top. Here's the disadvantage of not having that second official that we've had all week in a game that is of as important as this is. It's too bad to see only a three-man crew. Chance taken, quick kick save. Not that it changes much during the regular season, but in this showcase where it means so much to these kids and not to have that extra person who clearly would have seen these last two. We'll just skate through it. Here's Diaz. Diaz near side to Schemnauer. Up top as it's dumped in. Back behind the net now. Cleared out Reutemann. He directs traffic. Reutemann feeds around Reed. Now the puck comes back out through center. Halliday with control. Back to Reed. Reed, he'll carry him this one in. Diaz tries holding the far side. 12 minutes left here in this contest. Here's a home run opportunity. Smith thinks about coming out of his crease. He doesn't. Stick gets lost. Granite City's Halliday is without a stick. He'll feed back into the corner and try to recollect it. Centering pass out in front. Shot taken. Glove save from Smith to Granite City. 9-11 left here in the contest. Tarleton with control. Boy, I had the great pleasure of meeting Tal's grandparents yesterday. Real nice people. I know they're watching here today. They're watching at home today. Down below the goal line. 3-2 the score. Quickly cycles as Shea. Back up through center now. Caroming it across. Into the far corner, Tarleton, he'll battle for it. Davidson, he wants control. Tarleton, he'll give it. Back down near side. Eight and a half left through center. Reed's got wheels. Reed's going to come up near side. He's got a body to his left. It's massive. Final 13 seconds left on this power play. Maybe one more rush up ice, causing a near turnover in front. Got to be careful there. Final six seconds. Davidson will hold on to it. And another successful PK here for Rochester, keeping this a one-goal game with six minutes and ten seconds to go. Diaz, he dumps this one in. Schwartz off, first one there. Diaz takes a bump off his shoulder, falls down. Jax can't keep it in as it comes out far side. Tarleton with it. Back to Davidson. Davidson pushes this one in. Weiss has it go in and out of his mitt. No harm there as it's back into control for Rochester. Top of that far circle. Turned over in front. Chance taken. What a save. Puck still loose in front. What a chance there as Weiss just gets enough of it and blocks Granite City's chances for a two-goal lead. Boy, each team here in the last five minutes has had a chance. Here's Reed. Reed, far side. Reed with a drive. Weiss just enough of it. Feeds far side. Massive. He's there with the puck. Flipped up. Hits a... Feeds to Shaw. Now Delaney has control. He'll skate back as the line change 
will be needed for Granite City. It's enough time to get Reed and Masseth out there. Masseth, look for the big hit near side. Leaves for Diaz. Diaz tipped in front. We just got a piece of it. Far side, Reed. Ooh, Reed blows a tire right into the boards as he held, held up trying to swing one in. Less than three to go. Diaz, nice hip check. He got the worst of it. Chipped up, kept down by Masseth. Masseth high off the glass. It stays in play again somehow as Diaz watches this puck go all the way around. Granite City with it again. Here's Halliday. Halliday, big day for him. Feeds in front to Diakawa. Diakawa, quick chance. Weiss, another save. Keeping this one a one-goal game. Two and a half to go. Back out through center. Big turnover there. Halliday has got to get there in front of it. He does. Uses his framework. Feeds this puck back. Masseth right there. Can he get it out? He lays his body out. Puck is loose. Far side is without his stick. He gets back into the play. Halliday right there. Big disadvantage here for Granite City until they can find his stick. He does. Back in. Woggy keeps it on the blue line. Smith will take the stop. Nope. It pops out of his mitt. Now far side to Masseth. Less than two minutes to go. Back in on net. 